So here's an example of utilizing significant figures in a more mathematical sense. So we're told to solve the equation x squared plus 18x minus 10 is zero. Uh, write your answer to three significant, or answers rather, to three significant figures. So I recommend you try this first because it's a basic quadratic, so I won't have to go through a sample solution. So you can pause the video and try it yourself if you wish. And when you're ready, you can unpause the video and I will put the solution up. So hopefully you had a good try at it. Uh, here's the solution. So uh, I should have marked these as A, B, and C. So the quadratic equation, negative B plus minus root B squared minus 4C over 2A, that should be uh, something that should be ringing in mathematicians' heads. Now, take a look at the significant figures at the bottom. Our answer is minus 9, so our actual xn is minus 9 plus minus root 91 and x1 and x2 are shown here. So taking a look at these significant figures, we start at the five here. So this five is our starting point for our significant figures. So we go one, two, three, and we stop there. Here, well, we have minus 18, so one, two, three, and we stop there. Uh, these are actually irrational, as you should probably notice, because root 91 doesn't simplify. So if this were to keep going, uh, you get 0 0.53939201142. And on the other side, you get minus 18.53939201. Going on forever. So when it says to write to three significant figures, you write to three significant figures. And this is that example done.